Today's video topic is boil or pimples. It is sometimes difficult to know if the irritated bump on your skin is a boil or acne. They are both caused by bacteria in the pores and hair follicles, but they differ in how they are treated and the factors that put them at higher risk. Symptoms. Acne is one of the most common skin conditions. It comes in different shapes, sizes, and types. It is mostly seen on the face, but you can also get breakouts on your back, neck, shoulders, and chest. As pimples fade, they can leave dark spots on the skin, especially if you pop or pick at your skin. A boil, however, is a bump that is swollen and red around the outside. It gets filled with pus slowly and gets larger, such as your face, underarms, neck, buttocks, and thighs. Sometimes, boils can cluster together and form a growth known as a carbuncle, which is usually painful and can leave a permanent scar. They sometimes cause flu-like symptoms, such as fever, fatigue, and chills. Causes. Acne begins in the pores. Pores are tiny holes in your skin that are openings to hair follicles. These holes can be filled with dead skin cells, trapping bacteria, oil, and dirt inside. Bacteria cause the pore to swell and turn red. Then a thick white substance known as pus, which is made up of bacteria and white blood cells, fills the pimple. Boils also start in the hair follicles. They're caused by bacteria like Staphylococcus aureus that live harmlessly on the surface of the skin. These bacteria sometimes get inside the hair follicle and cause an infection. Risk factors. You are more likely to get acne when you have hormonal changes, such as during puberty and pregnancy. Also, an increase in male hormones in both males and females causes the skin to produce more oil. Some other causes of acne include taking certain medications like steroids, lithium, or anti-seizure drugs, eating certain foods like dairy and high-carb foods, using cosmetic products that clog pores, stress, family history, other risk factors of boils include diabetes, sharing razors, towels, or other personal items with someone who has a boil, eczema, a weakened immune system, seeing a doctor. You should see a dermatologist for your acne if you have a lot of pimples. The pimples are affecting your self-esteem. Over-the-counter treatments aren't working. Small boils are easy to treat on your own but you should see a doctor if a boil is bigger than two inches across, is very painful, is on your face or spine, causes a fever, doesn't heal within a couple of weeks. Treatment. Pimples can be treated with over-the-counter creams or washes. These acne products usually contain ingredients like salicylic acid and benzyl peroxide, which stop your pores from getting clogged and also kill bacteria on your skin. For severe acne, your doctor can prescribe stronger medications like antibiotics to kill bacteria, isotretinoin, which is a form of vitamin A, and birth control pills if you're female to adjust your hormone levels. If your acne doesn't improve with any of these treatments, your doctor might try chemical peels, lasers, or light therapy to reduce the number of bacteria in your skin, drainage, and extraction, where your doctor injects medicine into a cyst and then drains it. Prevention. Acne. Wash your face with a mild cleanser at least twice a day. Keep your skin clean to prevent oil and bacteria from building up inside your pores. Wash your hair often so that oil that builds up in your scalp does not contribute to breakouts. Boils. Do not share your hygiene items like towels, razors, and clothes. Boils are contagious and you can get them from someone infected. Do not pick or pop a boil you already have as you could spread the bacteria. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.